the only two things that's gonna happen is either they gonna watch it or they not I absolutely hated my job I hated working I, hey y'all I just posted my very first YouTube video because I was excited what's up y'all and welcome back to my channel welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is taiki welcome back if you're not new this is such a different type of video from my normal videos y'all know i don't really do sit down videos if you would have asked me a year ago that i picture myself where i'm at now i would have been like hell no like no a year ago i was in a totally different position than i am now it's how much i've changed as a person in general and i never really thought that i would be able to be in the position i am now by recording videos on my camera you know what i'm saying it's so crazy because i had made a vision board um last year last year for the new year me and my boyfriend we made vision boards um for going into 2023 and oh my gosh, I was looking at my vision board. I wish I had it with me, but it's at my mom's house. It's crazy because I was looking at the stuff I had put on my vision board. And it's like, I'm literally accomplishing or I have already accomplished this stuff already right now. And when I had made my vision board, the stuff that I had put on there, these weren't like, oh, you know, set goals like oh i'm trying to accomplish this in a year or i'm trying to do this you know what i'm saying this was just stuff in general that i wanted to accomplish in my lifetime eventually i didn't really put like a date on it or like when i wanted to do it it was just like stuff in general like okay i know eventually in my life i want to be able to do this or this is one of my goals you know it was just goals so i was literally looking on it and i'm gonna insert pictures of the vision board because i don't have it with me but i'm gonna insert pictures of it and i was just looking at it and it's like so crazy i'm gonna show y'all some of the stuff that's on there so the first thing i noticed that i had put on my vision board was it was a picture of like somebody holding up some keys to like their new apartment and y'all if y'all know y'all been watching me y'all know i just moved into my very first apartment so i had saw that and i was like oh my gosh because when i had put that on my vision board honestly around that time you would have asked me did i want to move out or did i think i was going to move out a year later i would have been like hell no like no i'm not moving you know what i'm saying like even in my videos i done told y'all like i wasn't planning on moving out or nothing like that no time soon but it happened and y'all know recently i just moved into my very first ever apartment and that was just so crazy seeing that on my vision board and then um what else was on there oh i had pictures of like passports and like planes and stuff because you know that was one of my goals was like to start taking trips be able to take trips by myself like on my own you know you no know, aside from like family vacations and all that i wanted to be able to you know fund my own trips to go on trips because i love traveling and of course um if y'all know this summer me and my boyfriend we went on a trip you know what i'm saying we went on a trip that was like something else that was one of my goals it's like oh my gosh i did that too and what else was on here a lot of business stuff was on here because around this time i made my vision board i was doing youtube but i didn't have like no business or nothing but i always knew i wanted to have a business so i put a lot of business you know a little stuff on here like um, I got these little pictures that say mood, CEO with the extra O's. My business will touch 100K, you know, all that type of stuff. And recently, I just launched my first business, which was my digital products. So it's like, I just was looking back on all of this stuff. And I had, po I had made this vision board December 27th, 2022, okay? And right now, it's September 9th, 2023. So I really had just got the idea to make this video because I wanted to share with y'all my whole journey with everything and how, you know, content creating has really changed my life around. A lot of y'all will comment stuff, y'all send me stuff, y'all send me messages about how much I inspire y'all. You know, I'm not where I want to be yet. I feel like I'm getting there, but it's like I ain't, you know, at my full potential yet. And y'all already be telling me, you know, I be inspiring y'all to do what y'all want to do. So that's why I wanted to make this video to kind of just sit down with y'all and tell y'all my whole journey with everything, how my life has changed, um, how my mindset has changed, especially, and really how I was just able to get to where I'm at now. And hopefully, you know, it can encourage some of y'all, motivate some of y'all, just kind of help y'all out a little bit. So if you're interested in this video, make sure I keep on watching. Um, If you're new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe, girl. Go ahead and subscribe. And let's just go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to give y'all like a whole backstory, like how every Everything started for me I'm trying to think I'm trying to give you all exact date so y'all really kind of know I'm pretty sure I started my YouTube channel in April I think but let's go back before I started so I was 18 years old and I had graduated high school early I was supposed to graduate in May of that year but I had graduated early in like 
what December or something yeah I graduated high school early so I was 18 and once I had graduated high school I was working jobs you know because I was preparing to go to my freshman year of college and around this time I did not want to go to college um if you have asked me you know did I want to go to college I would have said no like no I don't want to go to college really in my household that was just kind of what it was it was like okay you're gonna graduate high school then you're gonna go to college get a career and you're gonna work that was pretty much what was being you know pushed upon me in my household it's like I just know that just wasn't what I wanted to do especially when I was in high school like I used to my parents like I don't want to go to college like I don't want to go to college and you know they just look at me crazy like what what you mean you don't want to go to college like you going to college so I always felt like college was just kind of forced upon me and it just really wasn't what I wanted to do. Like, I can't lie, I did not want to go to college. Like, I just did not want to. So once I had graduated high school, I had started working because it's like, like I said, college, I feel like kind of was pushed upon me. So it was like, now I'm preparing to go to college and I don't even want to. So I was working on jobs. I had started working at this um, restaurant. They sell wings. I had started working there, quit from there, tried to get another job at this juice place, quit from there on the first day. Cause I didn't like it and then I started working at Walmart and if y'all watch my old videos or y'all been watching since like my first videos y'all know I used to work at Walmart I used to vlog tell y'all you know I was getting ready to go to work take out with me all that type of stuff but yeah I started working at Walmart you know before college started just so that I could um you know save up some money because I was gonna have to pay for all of this stuff pay for dorm stuff pay for books you know all that stuff so i really was just trying to save up money so that when i went to college you know i had some type of money so i was working at walmart and i absolutely hated my job okay i hated working i hated working in general i hated working for anybody i hate when anybody is telling me what to do i don't like taking orders from people i don't like I just don't like working for other people. I hated working at that wing place because they used to take half of my tips, which I thought was crazy. You know, just I just did not like working. Like, I didn't like working. So, yeah, I was working at Walmart. I used to go in at, like, 7 a.m. And I used to get off at, like, what, 3 or 4 or something like that. And I hated it, y'all. Around this time in my life, I was really depressed. It was just not where I wanted to be in life. Like, I just knew, like, this was not for me. Like, I just knew, like, this was not what I wanted my life to be. But being you know that age and just being where I was it was like I didn't really know what I could do or how to like get out of that situation because you know growing up in school and stuff they really like just prepare you to work for somebody else and I always hated that because it's like you know they ask you what you want to be everybody's like oh, I don't want to be this I want to be that it's like mm, I don't want to be none of that you know, like I don't really want to have any of these jobs I don't really want to do this I don't really want to do that but it's like in school that's what they train you to be that's what they train like in school they don't encourage you to be a CEO they don't encourage you to be an entrepreneur all the time you know what I'm saying so a lot of people just kind of you know grow up and it's like okay you're gonna get a job you're gonna do this you know they kind of train you for certain stuff and even family too parents too I guess it's because that's kind of what their generation is used to you know working and I guess now in our generation it's a lot of more entrepreneurs and things are just different so parents kind of you know the same thing they kind of just tell you like okay yeah you go to college you go and get a job you know and stuff stuff like that that's how it was for me at least that's how it was for me i just knew that i did not want to be working a job like i hated it like y'all when i tell you i was depressed i was really depressed and not even just because i was working a job that i didn't like working also because of the fact that i was gonna have to go to college i did not want to go to college like i said i feel like that was being forced upon me and it's just like i was just unhappy with my life in general i was just unhappy and i just really did not know how to get out of that i didn't know what to do i remember i had started journaling and i feel like that's kind of something that had helped me through i used to journal like every day just write in my journal about my day you know write about you know my goals just you know just kind of speak positive affirmations you know just kind of like telling myself like okay you're not always going to be in this place you're not always going to be here this is just for right now you know one day you're going to be doing this you're going to be happier you're going to be this you're not going to be depressed anymore so i used to write in my journal every day and i actually still have that journal with me and i often go back and read it because it's just kind of crazy like you know seeing yourself where you were and now you're like way better it's just like a good feeling but it kind of makes me feel you know kind of like oh it's like damn like I really was going through it but 
not no more <laughs> but yeah i have started posting content on tiktok i had made a tiktok and i started posting little videos it wasn't really nothing crazy like i wasn't like you know trying to make money from it or nothing like that i was just doing it just to do it so i was posting like little regular little tiktok videos you know like with the little sounds and stuff and then i had started seeing a lot of people post like days in their life like mini vlogs and stuff so i was like okay this is cute like i want to do this so i had started you know posting like little mini vlogs and stuff like that and i loved posting them like i just loved recording them i love putting them together with the sound i loved how they look afterwards like i just love you know making the little mini vlogs so i was just posting those you know my TikTok grew a little bit, not nothing crazy or nothing like that. Like, I don't remember how many followers I had, probably like a thousand or something like that. It wasn't nothing crazy. And one day I had got up and I was like, you know what? I'm finna make a YouTube video. Now, YouTube was something I had always wanted to do. I had always wanted to do YouTube since I was like younger. I used to make fake videos on my phone. You know, I used to be in school, I used to vlog, all that type of stuff. I used to always just want to do YouTube, but. I never had the courage to actually post a video and do it. Cause, you know, I was always in my head. I was like, ain't nobody finna watch. It's gonna be embarrassing, you know. So I was just like, nah, I'm not doing that. But one day last year, I had, you know, got the courage to post a video. So I was like, you know what? This is something I've been wanting to do for a while. And it's like, if I never try to do it, I don't know what can happen from it. And it's like, the way that I be thinking about stuff is like, you know, you never really know what the outcome will be with anything. But it's like, what what's going to happen if you do it? You know, ain't nothing going to happen. The only two things that's going to happen is either they're going to watch it or they're not. You know what I'm saying? So that's kind of my mindset going into it. It's like, well, I'm just going to post this video. Either somebody going to watch it or they're not. And my life's still going to go on. So that was kind of like my mindset going into it. So I decided that I wanted to post my first video. And my first video was a tutorial, a quick weaves tutorial, because around this time, quick weaves was really popular and everything. Everybody was wearing quick weaves, trying to figure out, you know, everybody was like kind of getting away from wigs and going back to quick weaves, me too. So I had learned how to do my own quick weaves. And I was like, I'm going to do a quick weave tutorial. And here's a tip. Um, if you're trying to start YouTube or whatever and you haven't posted your first video yet, I would definitely suggest posting a tutorial as your first video rather than like a vlog. I decided, you know, my quick weave tutorial is going to be my first video and I have posted it. I filmed the video, you know, I was filming on my phone. Um, I don't remember if I had this exact phone or a different one. I think, I, no, I had a different phone. But yeah, I was filming on my phone. I had my phone set up, you know, I was going through the steps, doing my quick weave from beginning to finish. Um, I had found out about the app called CapCut, so I edited the video in CapCut on my iPad and I posted it on YouTube. Now that video is still up on my channel, that's my first video. I'm going to go to it real quick and see like how many views it has. I think that's my best video. I think that video has the most views out of all my videos. Yeah, that video has 213,000 views right now. My um quickly tutorial. So that was the first video. I did a little thumbnail and everything. And when I had posted it, I had posted a video on my TikTok um, saying like, hey, y'all, I just posted my very first YouTube video because I was excited. And that video on TikTok did really good. <laughs> Because I guess it was like a lot of other people, you know, were wanting to do YouTube. So they see me, you know, post that I posted my first one and they wanted to support. And they're like, oh, I want to post a YouTube video too, you know, stuff like that. So that like video did really good. And the quickly tutorial did really good. Also, because of the fact that people, like I said, it was popular around that time. Like people were trying to go back to doing quickly. So they were looking at tutorials. It's like I had knew this. Like it's just crazy because I knew this. Cause like I was one of these people. Like I was looking up, you know, quickly tutorials every day, trying to learn, you know, how to do my own quickly. So it's like I know if I'm looking for this, it's other people looking for this too. So why not post my video showing these people how I do mine? And it did good. But after I had posted that video, it's like okay. I like this I want to keep on doing this and whatever but I didn't really want to keep on doing hair tutorials I didn't really you know that wasn't really like what I was trying to make my um channel about I really wanted to do vlogs like I just wanted to do vlogs I always talk to myself I always have like just talk to myself all the time like I talk to myself out loud in my head I just talk to myself so I just know like 
I don't want to talk to the camera. Like, I be having something to say. So, I was like, I want to do vlogs. So, I think my next video was a vlog. Yep, my next video after that was a vlog. I did some more hair videos. And then, you know, just started doing more vlogs and all of that type of stuff. Because that was what I really wanted to do. And y'all, all of this was the summer before I went off to college, okay? So, I had kept on posting videos on TikTok, trying to grow my TikTok, you know, trying to grow my YouTube, kept being consistent. I was trying to, you know, upload a new video, you know, almost every week, which I think I did. I think I did upload, like, a new video every week. You know, I was just trying to stay consistent, trying to think of ways to promote my channel because, you know, that's a big thing, promoting, you know, all of that stuff. So, then college came around and... You know, it may look like I was super excited to go to college, but on the inside, I did. I was not excited. I was not ready to go to college. I did not want to. You know, I was posting little videos, come dorm shopping with me, dorm hauls, stuff like that. But on the inside, y'all, I really just wanted to stay at home and do something else. Like, I did not want to go to college. So, school had started and, you know, it was my freshman year of college. I was a nursing major, which also was something that I felt was kind of pushed upon me. Now, nursing, that was not, it was something, you know, I felt like, okay, maybe, you know, this is something I'll be interested in. But really, it really wasn't. Nursing was just kind of put into my head and it was just kind of like pushed upon me because, you know, around this time, I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. I didn't know what my purpose was. I just really did not know. I just chose nursing as my major, you know. People had put nursing into my head, like, oh yeah, be a nurse, da, 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 go to nursing. You know, all that stuff. I was like, okay, whatever. And I was at a school that I did not like. I hated the school I was at. It was very country. It was in the middle of nowhere. I did not like the environment of the school. There weren't, you know, a whole, whole bunch of people that looked like me, that were like me, if you get what I'm saying. So it was just a different environment from where I was coming from. You know what I'm saying? And I just hated it. Like, I can't lie, I hated it. I hated the school I was at. Like, it was just like the people were very different from, you know, the type of people I was used to being around, the whole environment, the town, everything. It was just, I just hated it. Like, it just was not me. Like, it was just not me. You know, the whole thing about college is, it's like people will say like, oh, you're smart. You can go to college. You can do this. It's like, yeah, I'm smart. Like, I never thought like, oh, I'm not going to be able to graduate from college. Or, you know, I never had that in my mind. Like, that was never a thought. Like, I've always been good in school. I've always been, you know what I'm saying? So, I was never thinking like, oh, I'm not going to be able to graduate. I'm not going to be able to, you know, that was never the problem. It was just the fact that I just did not want to do it. I didn't want to go. And it's like people will say stuff like that, like, oh, you're smart. You can go to college. You're going to go to college, this and that. Oh, you're smart. Why are you not going to college? Why are you not going to college? You're so smart, this and that. It's like being smart doesn't have anything to do with <laughs> going to college. Like there are a lot of people who are smart and they choose not to go to college. Like not everybody has to go to college. So like I really hate that that was like forced on me. And I hate that it'd be forced on a lot of people my age, just in general, a lot of family sports college onto their kids because I guess that they're in the mindset of you know what I'm saying like the generations are different like my parents generation and how they had to grow up and things that they had to do is different from now and it's like the world that we live in now is so different there are a lot of more ways to be successful there are a lot of more ways to make money there are a lot of more things you can do and it's like we're living in this type of world now and you have to take advantage of that you know what I'm saying I don't know about y'all but me I'm going to try to, if I if I can find something that I can do that I enjoy that does not require me to work, you know, seven hours a day and be stressed and be tired and all that stuff, now I'm going to do it, okay? I'm not trying to live a hard life. I'm not trying to be stressed out. I'm not trying to be worried about finances every month. Like, that's just not the life I'm trying to live. So, college came around. You know, I was doing good in college, of course, whatever. But I just wasn't happy there. It may look like I was in my videos, y'all. But deep down, it's like I was going through it. So, I really had just felt like I was stuck. Like, I just didn't know what to do. Like, I felt like I was stuck. I felt like I was stuck in a routine. I just hated it. Like, felt like I was doing the same thing every day. Like, I just felt stagnant. Like, I just felt stuck. So, kind of like through mid, kind of towards the end of my first um year of college, you know, I used to be talking to my boyfriend. I used to be like, I don't want to stay here. I don't want to be a nurse. I don't see myself being a nurse. Like, I don't want to be a nurse. I don't want to stay at this school. 
I just don't want to be here. It's like I have been thinking this since school started. But, you know, when it comes to like your parents and stuff like that, it just be hard. Well, for me, it was just hard to talk about it because it's like I'm already here. And, you know, you don't really know how people are going to react. I mean, at the end of the day, it is my life. But it kind of just felt like I was here for them. It didn't feel like I was here for myself. And it was causing me to be unhappy. So eventually, you know, I just talked to my mom and my parents about it. And I was just like, you know, this is not what I want. Like, this is not what I want to do. Like, I don't want to be at this school. I don't want to be a nurse. You know, I just had to tell them. And, you know, you know how parents say, you know, they're like, oh, you know. I didn't really get the reaction I wanted from it. It, at first, you know, it was just kind of like, oh, what are you talking about? You don't want to, why you ain't saying, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So it kind of just like discouraged me even more. I kind of just had to put myself in a mindset like I can't live for nobody else. I have to live for myself. And in the day, this is my life. You know what I'm saying? So I started, you know, doing the whole process to transfer schools, you know, changing my major. And even around this time, I still don't really know what it is I want to do. Because like I said, college really was still not something that I was 100% like, yes, I want to go to college, I want to do this. Like, it just wasn't. So, but before we get into anything else, let's talk about, you know, what else was going on while I was in college. Like, content-wise, what was going on. So, my YouTube, my social media accounts were doing really good around this time while I was in college. You know, I was posting college blogs and People loved them, like they were doing really good. Like I would post a college blog every week and they were doing really good. Like it was helping my channel grow, you know, a lot. You know, around this time I was already monetized on YouTube. I had got monetized, I think a month after I started YouTube. So it had kind of happened fast. You know, I was making money, but it wasn't really a lot of money. You know, <laughs> it wasn't a lot. It wasn't a lot of money to take care of myself or nothing like that. It wasn't really a lot. So, but it was something, it was something. So. I had made an Instagram account last year. I never had Instagram before in my life. And people be so surprised when they hear that. But y'all, I never had an Instagram, ever. Like, I had other social medias, but I never had an Instagram. So I made my very first ever Instagram account um, last year while I was in college. And, you know, I started my account with zero, just like everything else. TikTok started with zero. YouTube started with zero. And... Now my Instagram page has 47.3 thousand followers on there. My Instagram grew fast. I don't really know how. I guess it was just because, you know, I, you know, I post my little pictures or whatever. But really what grew my Instagram was posting reels. So pretty much whatever I would post on TikTok, I would post it on Instagram as a reel. Just like content, just like you know, my little mini vlogs, hair tutorials, little stuff like that. I'll post it on Instagram as reels, and that's what helped um, grow my Instagram. So I had stayed consistent on YouTube. Like I said, I was posting like one or two new videos every single week. And a lot of people was like, oh my gosh, how do you balance YouTube and college? But I don't know. Like, honestly, you just have to organize everything and plan everything out. That's what I was doing while I was in school. Like, I just had to, you know, make sure I got my schoolwork done. And, you know, I was recording throughout the week. You know, I would stay up all night to edit a video to make sure I could get a video out. And it was just kind of that. Like, I just had to make time for everything. So I was staying consistent on YouTube. I was watching my YouTube grow. You know, I was getting a lot of sponsorships and all that type of stuff. You know, little brand collaborations and i was just staying consistent with content i didn't live like no crazy life like i wasn't doing nothing crazy like to me my life was regular normal i was 18 going on 19 and i was in college like i was just living a regular normal life like there's a lot of stuff i wish i would have been doing that i wasn't doing but at the end of the day <laughs> i could only show y'all what was actually going on in my life so i was living a regular life you know vlogging my life and people were watching it and that's how it was even when i had first started my channel like i was just showing y'all my regular life like i didn't fake nothing like it was just me like you know some days i didn't really have nothing to do but i was still vlogging you know what i'm saying it was just my regular life and people were watching it and people were you know they were liking it they were watching it they came back to watch the next one it was just kind of crazy to me because it's like this is something you know i've always wanted this it's like i never thought it would happen for me i used to watch like 
people, you know, that I love to watch on YouTube all the time, I used to be like, oh my gosh, I would love to be a YouTuber. I would love to, you know, post videos and stuff like that. And it's like, now it's actually happening. Like, this is actually my life. So let's fast forward. Um, You know, the first year of college ended, you know, I had great grades, dean's list, you know, good GPA, all that type of stuff. So fast forward from that um, to recently, probably like a month ago or so. Um, Yeah, like a month ago. I had just got the idea to go look at some apartments and I really wasn't planning on moving out. Like I, I really wasn't planning on moving out because I didn't think I was ready. I didn't think I was going to, really I didn't think I was going to be able to move out. You know, like afford to be able to move out. I didn't think I was going to be able to afford to have my own place or nothing like that. But like I said, my YouTube kept growing so I was, you know, getting paid more from YouTube as well as sponsorships and everything else. So I was getting paid more and I was like, let me just go look at some apartments, you know what I'm saying? So I toured an apartment and I really liked it. And then, you know, I started touring some other ones. It's like, and it's like, I kind of just was like, you know what? I think I'm ready to move out. I think I want to move out. Like for me, it was more so just being there, like being actually in these apartments and just picturing my life here. It just made me feel good like it just made me feel like this is for me like it's the right time and it's like that's how i really knew that i was ready to move out when i was actually in these apartments touring them and it's like the feeling i had it was like it just felt right like it felt like the time was right and i feel like it was the right time so i ended up looking i found the apartment that i really liked i liked the price of it i liked where it was whatever and you know i moved into my first apartment if y'all haven't seen my move-in vlog, go watch it. But yeah, you know, I moved in. I was able to go ahead and start decorating and furnishing it and everything. And it's like, I was just watching all of this happen. It's like, wow, like, this is really my own place. I, I really just put myself in my own apartment. And it's crazy because it wasn't planned. Like, it was not something I was saving up for. I'm just being honest. It was not something I was saving up for. It wasn't something I planned out months in advance. It just kind of happened like that. I did not save up for my apartment. I was able to go ahead, you know, do the application fee. I was able to go ahead and pay first month's rent plus all the fees that they had. You know, I was able to go ahead and pay for all the extra utility, everything. I was able to go ahead and get a couch. I was able to go ahead and get a rug, get a lamp, you know, all that type of stuff. I was able to go ahead and do all of that. And I guess it was just because I was, you know, good with my money. But really, I feel like it was just God. Like, honestly, like, I feel like God was just like, yeah, this is the time. Like, the time is right. And I feel like it was just able to happen for me. And I feel like it put me in such a better place in my life. Like, I feel like it was what I needed. Because, you know, it's like who I am now and where I'm at now is kind of like, I feel like, okay, I really can do whatever I want to do. Like, I can do anything. And I have a lot of dreams. I have a lot of goals that I want to accomplish. And it's like, I feel like anything is attainable. You know what I'm saying? Anything is possible if you work for it. And the timing has to be right. Timing is everything. I feel like a lot of the times we want stuff to happen, you know, at this time. But it's not the right time. You know, like a year ago, I was not ready to move out. I was going through, I was going through a lot. I was not ready to move out. Like the timing just was not right. I feel like God let this happen for me when he knew I was ready for it. Cause it's like right now where I'm at in my life, I'm not stressed out about bills. I'm not stressed out about paying rent. I'm not stressed about none of that. Like I'm doing good for myself right now. I feel like the timing was just right. So yeah, it was just crazy that I was able to go ahead and move out. I don't feel like I rushed it. You know, I wouldn't suggest rushing to move out. I don't feel like I rushed it. I just feel like it was just what was for me. You know, everybody doesn't want to move out at 19. Everybody doesn't have to. Everybody isn't, everybody's not ready to, and that's fine. Like, if you can stay home, stay home as long as you can. But if you're ready for that, then do it because I do not regret moving out. I love having my own house. I love having my own home. I love having my own space. I love buying my own groceries. I love cleaning up my own house. Like, I love it. Like, it's just for me. Like, it gives me peace. Like, honestly, it brings me peace. So, last month, I also had... um launched my first business and it was by digital products so um i'll tell y'all a lot of people was just always telling me you know i inspired them you know a lot of people come to me for help 
when it comes to like YouTube and content creating because you know they want help they want tips and I've been trying to help y'all out like if y'all message me in my DMs you know y'all telling me like oh y'all struggling with YouTube and y'all need a little help like I be I be tasting y'all back like I be trying to help y'all as much as I can so I had decided to create an ebook um pretty much just like content creating one on one to pretty much just put y'all down on everything about how to get started because it changed my life like it put me in a totally different position than where I was at and it's like I'm able to do things I'm able to afford things I'm able to live comfortably at such a young age and it's like I want that for y'all too I want y'all to be able to get there too and it's like y'all can because if I could get there y'all when I tell y'all nobody knew me nobody knew me I did not have no large following I didn't even have an Instagram okay everything that I have grown like my social media accounts everything I have grown from literally the bottom up just me I didn't do no collabs with nobody I, none of that it was just all me so it's like I know like if I was able to do it y'all are able to do it too so I made an ebook that pretty much puts y'all down on everything I need to know about getting started with content creating you know growing and everything and I also made an editing course to help y'all if y'all need to learn how to edit or improve your editing skills and I launched that and that is still available if you're interested in purchasing it on um, the ebook is $15 and the editing course is $45 so if you're interested in that um it's gonna be linked in the description of this video so yeah I made that out because I wanted to help y'all out and I have launched it and y'all I did not expect people to actually be buying it the way they was buying it like when I tell y'all and I had only promoted it for like two days before I launched it so it's like I was kind of nervous I felt like I didn't do enough promotion for it but no when I had launched it I had got so many orders like it was just crazy because I told y'all another thing you know I just didn't want to work for nobody it's like of course I do YouTube but it's like I don't want to just do YouTube I want to have my own businesses too you know what I'm saying and I want to help people like I don't really know what my purpose is right now I don't really know yet exactly what my purpose is in life i know what i do i know what i enjoy doing and one of the things i enjoy doing is helping y'all if i'm knowledgeable about something i like to help y'all out i like to see y'all you know achieve y'all goals i like to help y'all and all of that type of stuff so and that's why i wanted to you know make the ebook and the editing course because it really makes me feel good when y'all tell me like oh y'all are inspired by me because it's like okay i'm doing something right you know, it's like when y'all tell me that I motivate y'all, it makes me even more motivated. Like, I love that. So, yeah, I had launched my ebook and my editing course, and it did so freaking good. It's like, I don't want to get into, like, specifics about how much I made for my ebook, but I done made way more than I was expecting to, okay? And now I'm working on another business that I kind of already showed y'all on my own. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I kind of already told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah y'all just gotta stay tuned for that but yeah i would have just told y'all just to tell y'all wherever you're at in life right now is not where you're gonna end literally your life could change in months in a year but one thing you can't do is compare your journey to anybody else's i feel like you have to find a passion for something and go after it if you're passionate about something then stick with it and go after it and just watch you know everything happened it's like for me content creating was something i was passionate about i didn't start content creating you know thinking about okay i'm gonna make money because honestly when i started i didn't know how much money you can make from youtube you know what i'm saying i didn't know nothing about how much youtubers get paid or nothing like that i didn't know how any of it worked i had just started you know youtube because i just love talking to the camera like i just love talking to the camera and then watching it back and putting it together so after i did that and then I started getting paid. It's like, I'm getting paid doing something that I love doing. Like, honestly, something that I love doing. It's like, you tell people you do YouTube. They're like, oh, okay, you do YouTube. Okay, you do YouTube. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really thinking like, oh, yeah, you do YouTube. Okay. You know, they ain't really thinking like, oh, this is something they're doing that they're actually making a living off of. But when I tell y'all, you can definitely live off of content creating. Now, me personally, I don't want to just live off of content creating. I want to have businesses. I want to, you know, because it's a lot more that I'm trying to do in my life. And I have a lot of goals. And I just want to do whatever it is I put my mind to. But content creating has made my life so much easier. It's, it's allowed me to not have to work any more jobs that I hate. It's allowed me to have, you know, more time to focus on school. Just all that. It's just put me in a different place in my life. 
and I feel like you should take advantage of that especially because of the fact that you know people every single day are looking for new people to watch you don't it don't matter like whatever it is that you're doing in your life you never know who may want to watch and tune in that's why i be encouraging y'all to you know do content creating stay consistent with it even if you're not seeing as much growth as you want stay consistent with it because you never know where it could take you but i feel like that separates the people who are doing it for money and the people who are doing it just because they enjoy doing it because like i said when i first started getting paid from youtube it really wasn't nothing like it really wasn't much money at all like it wasn't nothing like but i still you know stay with it stay doing it just because of the fact that i just love recording with social media now with so many ways to get paid you can get paid through sponsorships there are you know hair companies who will pay you a thousand dollars to you know do sponsorships with them you know what i'm saying post a video on their hair like it's so many ways to make extra money off of you know content creating social media and it's a way for you to connect with other people. It's so many people I've connected with and I feel like I have like a whole community of people who support me and that makes me feel great. Like it makes me feel great. Like people tell me like, oh, you know, my videos help them get through stuff that they're going through and that just makes me feel great. I feel like it's so easy for, you know, us to get discouraged about stuff when we're not seeing it happen. You know, life is hard. Life be life and life be life in okay and life is hard and it's, and it's a lot of stuff people go through that you know it's a lot of stuff content creators like myself go through that does not get shown that y'all will never know about at the end of the day everybody goes through stuff everybody you know what i'm saying everybody goes through stuff you kind of just have to want more for yourself and i feel like when you want more for yourself you're going to work harder and if that's just all it's going to take it's going to take you to work hard and it's just too many ways out here to you know make money off of stuff that you know already know how to do like, come on, like, literally, if you know how to do hair, girl, go start doing hair. You know what I'm saying? If you know how to do hair, go start doing hair. Go start posting hair tutorials. If you have a skill, you can profit off of that skill that you have. Whether you make art, whether you make music, whether you, it don't, ma it don't matter. Whether you make clothes, whether you know how to sew clothes, whether you know how to do that. It don't matter. Like, if you have a skill, you can profit off of that. You just have to know how to market it. You have to stay consistent with it. Like consistency is like the biggest thing. Whether you're trying to grow your social media accounts, you gotta stay consistent with it. I be telling y'all, post and post a new reel or TikTok every day and watch your page grow. Like, I'm not lying. Like literally, like it's consistency. You know, especially if you're trying to get into content creating, it's like content is everything. Anything can be content. Content does not always have to be super well thought out. Okay. It'd be a lot of content that people just do real quick and it just blows up. That's what I'm saying. You have to be authentic. You have to be yourself. And you just have to stay in a positive mindset regardless of, you know, everything that you be going through in life. You know, life is hard. Shit. At least you're not where you was. At least, at least you're not where you was. You ain't, we, we not where we want to be at, but at least we're not where we was. I tell myself that almost every day. Shit, I'm not where I want to be at, but I'm, I'm glad I'm not where I was. Okay, I came a long way, and I'm still working, still trying to get to where I want to be, but I'd rather be here than where I was. And also, speak things into existence. I feel like if you speak something into the universe, it will happen. And that could be a good thing and a bad thing. That's why you should also watch what you say. You may say something, you know, you may put something out there into the world and then it comes back to you. So always speak positive things into the world. Speak highly about yourself. Speak positive things about yourself. You know what I'm saying? And give yourself credit. Like if you out here working, you out here knowing you trying, at least you trying. Give yourself the credit that you know, like, okay, at least I'm trying. Like, you know, you're not just out here sitting around just thinking something going to happen. And while you're just sitting here, you know, like, you got to work for it. And, you know, you're trying. Like, you got to give yourself credit. And you might as well go on and start now because the longer you wait, the more it's just going to no. Go on and start right now. But, yeah, y'all, I really just want to come on here and just really, like, talk to y'all. I don't really do sit-down videos like this, but, like I said, it's just kind of where I'm at now. I kind of want to change up my content a little bit. I feel like I'm evolving. I'm growing into, you know a new person not really a new person but just like a more elevated version of myself so i feel like my content is gonna you know reflect on that so i really just wanted to come down here and do a video like this i really want to do more sit down videos like you know 
if y'all have certain like topics or ideas or stuff y'all need help with i want to do more sit down videos like whether it's like how to plan out content how to you know market yourself you know stuff like that if y'all want to sit down videos about stuff like that i'll do them because i want to like do more with my content instead of just always vlogs even though i do love vlogging y'all still gonna get vlogs i want to do more so yeah i hope y'all enjoyed this video this is a different type of video so i hope y'all enjoy it and i love you guys so much um make sure i like comment and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and i'm going to see you guys in my next video and bye